Hello student so today we are going to start two new theorems from chapter parallel lines that are corresponding angles theorem and alternate angles theorem so let's start for the first proof that is corresponding angles theorem so here is the statement of corresponding angles theorem see the corresponding angles formed by a transversal of two parallel lines are of equal measure see here what is given they give us two parallel lines that is line l and line m and n is their transversal so what we have to prove we have to prove that the angle formed by these two parallel line and transversal angle a and angle b are the corresponding angle pair and we have to prove that angle a and angle b are of equal measures so this is our proof angle a is equals to angle b let's start for the proof see here in this diagram angle a and angle c lies on line m they are linear pair angles so we can say that angle a plus angle c is equal to 180 this is our equation number 1 and the reason is angles in linear pair if the angles are in linear pair their sum is 180 next to that angle b and angle c both are interior angles pair both are in interior angles pair so we already studied in our previous theorem that interior angles are supplementary so by that property we can say that angle b plus angle c is equals to 180 this is our equation number two and the reason is property of interior angles of parallel lines so from equation one and equation two their right hand sides are equal so equating their left hand side we get here angle a plus angle C is equals to angle B plus angle C. Now cancel out this angle C from both sides. We get here angle A is equal to angle B. Therefore angle A is equal to angle B and hence the proof. So this is the corresponding angles theorem. Now let's prove alternate angle theorem. Here is the statement. The alternate angles formed by a transversal of two parallel lines are of equal measures. So this we have to prove. Let's see with a diagram. Line L and line N are the parallel lines and N is their transversal. This is given thing. Now we have to prove that angle D and angle B have the same measures. So let's start to prove this theorem. Let's start the proof. See in this diagram line L and line N are the parallel line and N is their transversal. And angle D and angle C are the linear pair angles. As they are linear pair angles, some of major of these two angle is 180 it means they are supplementary so we can write it as angle d plus angle c is equal to 180 this is our equation number one and the reason is angles in linear pair see again angle c and angle b are the interior angles pair they are interior angles so by the property of interior angle of parallel line is that the sum is 180 so we can write it as angle C plus angle B is equals to 180 degree is our equation number two and the reason is property of interior angles of parallel lines now by equation number one and two we can write it as see here their right hand sides are equal Therefore, equating their left hand side, we get angle D 
plus angle C is equal to angle C plus angle B. Now cancel out the angle C from both sides. We get here angle D is equal to angle B. Hence the proof. So we can prove this for remaining alternate angles of these two parallel line and their transversal. So revise both theorems. Thank you.